Hey guys, welcome to my Make It Monday on Labor Day. I am just coming to show you a couple of quick things because I hated to not say hi and happy Labor Day. And Steph, they can come in and say hi if they want to. So my kiddos are just getting here. So, and I have lots of food to finish, but I had to stamp a little bit. So um, the screen that I showed you there, let me just show you, has this adorable little project that I'm gonna tell you about. I'm not gonna make that today. Um, I just made it really quick to show you. And I'm gonna just give you a little about the, um, the things that I used for it. So um, the little heart right here comes from the dog punch. The little acorn and leaf come from the beautiful autumn bundle um, and I used two of the punches from that. Um, I did the, um, well, I did the wreath of course from, <laughs> there's a lot of stamps I used in this, a ranger wreath. So I just die cut from the dies from that set. And of course I had to add the little, um, the little, yeah, the little birdhouse from Life is Beautiful. And this is the, the focal point. This is the little guy that I used in here. And I wanted to use this set for you today. I just got it recently and I thought what a fun set to use on a special day. So he's my little focal point in there for today. And of course, um, the little um, grunge work in the background was from Artisan Textures. So those are the five stamp sets that I used. Some of them were bundles. And then the two ink colors I used were Mint Macaron and Early Espresso. So hopefully um, that gives you an idea. I will put that, um, yeah, I, I'm just checking right here. Oh shoot, I forgot to make sure that my sound was on. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I, usually, I usually go ahead and start um, checking my Facebook Live so that I can see that it's going and make sure there's sound because I've had issues with that. Um, and I'm just going to start here and make sure. Okay. Hey, guys, I appreciate you joining me. So, um, so that's the, um, let me just get rid of, let's see, I'm going to use this one. I'm not going to be using those two. I want to just bring this back on screen here so that you can get a good look at that and snap a um, a, a picture if you want while that's on on camera. And then I'm going to get rid of a few stamp sets here, and I'm just going to um, make a pocket card today using the beautiful autumn bundle. And I'm using this punch. Um, this is the oak oak punch. All right, so let me set this aside, and I will still be using these three colors, maybe just these two colors for this card. Okay, so to start with, I have uh, I've cut my cardstock in half long ways, and I've scored it at uh, in um, yeah at five and a half. I always score it before I cut it, just because then I only have to do one score line. But I will need to do one more score on here because we are doing a pocket card. And so your scoring will be at uh, five and a half and also one and a half. Whoops, let me turn that the right way. So one and a half and five and a half are your score lines on there. All right, so then your other pieces, I'm using the Gilded Autumn designer paper and um, the other pieces that you'll need for the pocket, I have a piece of Cajun Craze that is four um, three and three quarters inch by five and then this is a quarter inch down from that so it is three and a half by four and three quarters okay so that's going to fit in here let me just show you how that will work hold this the right way and get my bone folder here so I hope you're all ready for your picnics today if you're having one um, so I folded that the score line back. Boy, that let me um, see if I can get this camera or this light down on the project a little bit more. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit better, um, so that you can see. I folded this uh, where I put the score line here, and then this got folded down. Now, 
I have this piece of paper, which is four inches by one and a quarter inch. That's going to go on the little flap here. And I just put a new adhesive refill in there. This paper is just so beautiful. You, I think you can see how that shimmers. That's got some copper uh, embossing or, or uh, foil on there. And then this one, I'm not using the foiled side. I'm actually gluing down the foiled side. Now this piece is three inches by four. I didn't know how much I was going to need, but I knew that this flap was going to come down here and it was going to cover it. So um, you could actually get away with two and three quarters inch. Uh, by four inches if you want to. Okay, so there's that part. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue the edge of this. And I'm just going to start this out over the edge a little bit. Well, that didn't, I, I'm not very straight. Okay, and then you can see how that overlaps. I'm just going to pull that in so that it doesn't, um, it still can be used, but it's not going to get uh, gooey on the edge. I was trying not to bring it in quite this far because I'm afraid my card won't fit in there if I do that, but it was a little more than I wanted. This one's a little bit better. Okay, so now that's glued down. Let's see if, make sure this fits in here. I might have to cut this down a little bit more. That's a little tight. I think I'm going to go ahead and just not fight with it. Might as well just cut it down another quarter of an inch. Uh, where's my quarter of an inch? Right there. And that means I need to cut this piece down by quarter of an inch. Okay. That works when you put too much glue on it. All right. So before we put this together, I'm going to do some stamping. Um, I do want to make sure... I do want to stamp this so that you can see it. So I am going to slide that in there um, and before I stamp that. Um, I want to stamp the saying from here that have a beautiful day. And I'm going to do that in early espresso. And now that I see where I need that to go to show, I'll go ahead and scoot it out and stamp that. I still need to go outside and finish cleaning up outside and then I have to cook my burgers. Oh, that's terrible. So I'm glad I didn't glue that down. Stop thinking about what you have to do and enjoy what you are doing, right? Okay, there we go. like that better. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and glue that on because that's obviously the, the side that I have to use. I do want to add a little more stamping here. Um, just because there's so many cute stamps in this set, it's really hard to not use them all. And I want to use this little stem, and I think I am going to use my mint macaron here because there is a, a stamp that fills in that stamp, and I want that in green. So that will go right over top of here. And this is when photopolymer comes in handy because you can see what you're doing. All right, so our inside is done. Let's finish the front. Okay, so I want to, first of all, I want, oh, that's not done. Okay. I want to go ahead and tie a ribbon around here and I cannot find my acorn embellishments. In fact, um, today's video, um, you know Mondays I do a giveaway. Today's giveaway is going to be the little acorn trinkets and that's going to go on this card but for some reason I can't find mine so I order myself some and I'll order some for the winter today and I am doing because it's a holiday and I don't expect that a lot of people are going to be able to watch um, today I'm going to keep the drawing open until tomorrow the only thing you have to do to enter is just leave a comment um, say hi, say if you enjoyed the project, if, you try, if you're going to try to make this project. Um, you can use any type of paper that you have. Um, just a really quick and easy card to, um, to make. And you can even stick a gift card in with it if you want to, or cash if you're giving a gift to someone. So I just added that. that this ribbon comes in our... <laughs> I just closed my catalog, but 
this set comes in a suite or is a suite and you can get it as a suite as you know um, our suites are individual items that they actually have a code number for it's ninety six dollars you would get the paper the punch uh, the punches the stamp the brush metallic paper um, the acorn trinkets and the ribbon so this is the ribbon here that I used um, from that and this is one of the projects for my stamps in the mail class this month and I just sent an email out about that and I don't think I finished the post on Facebook yet but I will get that up by hopefully tomorrow and um, that that registration is open until sometime next week I believe I think it's the 10th no that's this week um, it's sometime next week I forget um, but it is a fabulous um, there's four projects and um, you get three make and takes and a tutorial with lots of ideas so I'm going to use this punch for um, for the top here I just want a little hole to put my ribbon through hey Rhett come here and say hi um, she ran to get grandma and grandpa here Why? come here Why? because she they're, she's bringing them for supper say hi to everybody hi <laughs> See, they're watching you on video. Okay. What are they doing? They're they're watching me stamp. You like stamping, don't you? Uh huh. Okay. So, what do you think of this card? What do you think of that? Uh, it looks a little different from me. It looks different from you. Yeah. It looks. Doesn't, it? it doesn't look like you. No. Huh. I, I'll show them what I'm showing you. I'm sh I'm showing him this card. So it looks different from you. Uh huh. My well, that's good because you're not a bear. Well, that's a bear. Well, what that's a polar it? bear. Well, Are you going to help me? Well, I want to stamp. Okay. Well, we're, we're doing a video right now. Okay. So, um, so can you put your glasses on or hold them? All right. So we're, we're putting a bow in here. So I'm showing them how to do that. So we're going to cut a piece of this ribbon, which is the other. Uh oh, I forgot to open this packet. And I even knew that I needed to do that. Well, mine just broke like it broke, and I was trying your, to. Your scissors broke. Uh huh. Oh, well, you probably shouldn't play with scissors. I'm just helping you. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just putting my hand on you so I don't get <laughs> broken. Okay. You, you keep your hand on me so your hand doesn't get broken. Or so my hand doesn't get broken. Is that what you mean? No, yeah, so. Okay, so um, actually, yeah, I don't have any cord here, but I see some gold cord. Let's use gold since that's all that is on my table. I forgot that I wanted to tie a little piece around the top of this. I'm Grandpa ready to paint yet. <laughs> he probably is ready to paint. Did you go back and talk to him? My Josh is in there? No, it was Brianna. Okay, guys. So, I, do you want to? Do you want down? Well, I'm gonna check okay. it from. All right, you go check on Brianna. Right. We'll fin I'll finish my video. <laughs> so, I thought you'd enjoy a cute little interlude there. Um, obviously, I have three. Oh, there we go. I have three sets of whoops scissors here on the table. Wow. I just did like him and stuck my hand right in the ink pad. Here's one that's for ribbon there. That gives me a much nicer edge. Okay, there we go. And let's trim this a little bit. All right, now we're ready to tuck that inside of there. And now we have a cute card to give to somebody. And I totally, totally forgot that I wanted to put a tag on here and I forgot to get the paper for that. But I do have some vanilla here. And I wanted to put this other saying that's in the set and it says, life is better with you. And I want to add some leaves, which I set here. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those on the edge of this piece. Okay, now I'm going to fill them in with Cajun Craze because those are our colors in this uh, designer paper. There's even some crumb cake in there, so we could have pulled crumb cake in with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch these. So 
So stamp first and then punch, and then you can just line up so that you can see your pattern in there. There we go. And I don't think I have my tag punch on the table, so I'm going to go ahead and just punch this. I did want to layer this on a piece of mint macaron, but because I don't have that on my table, it's not going to be terrible. And I might just trim this down just a hair, which means now I have to fix my tab to cut that in just a little bit more. All right, so we need some dimensionals, which I have here somewhere. And I'm going to pop those babies on here. And that's just going to look like it's coming down from my bow. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here to the leaves. Since the, since the um, tag is already popped up, I'm not going to pop that up anymore. And there we go. All done. I hope you enjoyed that project. I hope that you have a fabulous Labor Day and enjoy company of friends or family or whoever you get to spend time with today. Um, this is a no makeup day. It, it's color like you, like you see it. I was pulling weeds and everything else this morning. So um, good to touch base with you guys. Make sure you leave a comment so that I can add you into the drawing and I will leave that open until uh, the end of tomorrow evening. All right, take care. Have a good day. God bless.